Alright guys, welcome back. This will be the final part of this huge update, so I hope you guys are enjoying so far. This is a lot of stuff, I know. But let's continue on. The next DVD I got here was The Guardian, which I thought was a solid, a solid film with Ashton Kutcher. It's one of the few Ashton Kutcher films I do actually like. I thought him and Kevin Costner did a great job in them together. Next one here is What Lies Beneath, Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer, directed by Robert Zemeckis. This is a really creepy PG-13 kind of like ghost movie and all that stuff. I mean, this is a crazy movie, really crazy film. It's really good though. Next one here, this is another film I remember owning on VHS, and I now have it on DVD. Ants, which I think is a really solid um, animated movie, CGI animated film. It has a really good voice cast. You have Woody Allen, Sharon Stone, Sylvester Stallone, Gene Hackman, Christopher Walken, Jennifer Lopez, Danny Glover, Dan Aykroyd. Really solid film. Next one here is the special edition of Platoon, which is one of my personal favorite war movies. Next one here is the Universal Series Collector's Edition of Twelve Monkeys. Once again, Universal, with their Collector's Edition, they did that for The Mummy, uh, Mercury Rising, a lot of other movies. The thing, they all gave it collector's edition. And they put a lot of features on it. And this is another really good one, too. One of my personal favorite uh, Bruce Willis films. Next one here is the two disc edition of Independence Day, which I really do enjoy. Will Smith, Bill Pullman, Jeff Goldblum, Randy Quaid, Robert Loggia. James Redford, Harvey Firestein, directed by Roland Emmerich, same guy that did The Patriot, among other stuff, did this film, which I really, really enjoy Independence Day. Next one here is Phone Booth, probably my favorite Colin Farrell role. Next one here is another Bruce Willis film I collected from my collection, Armageddon which is another solid film. Next one here is a film that I have not yet seen before, but I've heard, I've heard some things about this film. Narc, with uh, Ray Liotta and Jason Patrick. You have Chi McBride also in the film, who is also in Mercury Rising with Bruce Willis. I haven't seen the film yet, but I'm looking forward to giving this a look. Got here the special edition of Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee. Nothing said about that. Next one here is the two disc of Million Dollar Baby. I mean, this is such a great like boxing movie. I mean, really solid, really solid film like Clint Eastwood. Well acted. I mean, so good. Such a good movie. Uh, next one here is an underrated Tom Cruise film, The Last Samurai. Which, if you have not seen this film, you're a big Tom Cruise fan. Highly recommend you check this out. I love this movie. I love The Last Samurai. Uh, next one here is a film that I don't think many people know know about. Based on the novel by Jack Ketchum, I believe. But then Jack Ketchum, of course, uh, passed away, also passed away this year, which is too bad. But this one is called Red. Not to be confused with the Red movie with Bruce Willis, this is a different kind of Red. This movie is kind of like a John Wick film, but more of a drama version of John Wick, where you have Brian Cox as a guy who is just a normal guy living his own life. He's retired. 
um, I believe he was in Vietnam, so I think he was a Vietnam vet, and he's just, he has a, um, he has a best friend who's his, who's his dog named Red, which was a gift from his late wife, and of course, he's out fishing one day, and these three boys, uh, do the unthinkable, and, you know, Brian, and then Brian Cox's character wants to try to, uh, you know, get the cops involved, and but no, nobody's, like, really helping him out, so he kind of takes the, the law into his own hands, so to say. And the three boys in it, you have, uh, what's his name, Noel Fisher, Mickey from uh, the TV show Shameless, Kyle Dahlner, who was, um, was also one of the kids who was in the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, um, Pony in Connecticut, Shiloh Fernandez is another one of the kids, you have Kim Dickens, who's like this reporter who tries to help out the lead guy. Tom Sizemore from Heat, and among other stuff, is one of the kids' uh, dads. Um, uh, yeah, like one of the kids, and then uh, you find, and there's also some supporting characters in the film. You have one of the delinquent boys' his parents, one of them, two of them, like two of, their, two of the, 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 I'm trying to get this right. The, one of the boys who's one of the bad guys, his parents, one of them is Robert England, Freddy Krueger himself, and his wife, Robert England's wife in the film, is Amanda Plummer, Honey Bunny from uh, Pulp Fiction. Um, and the uh, Tom Sizemore is also the dad to one of the other guys, and that kid's mother, who's the wife of Tom Sizemore, is Ashley Lawrence, Kirsty from uh, the Hellraiser films. So it's a really good cast. It's a really solid film, so I do enjoy Red. Next one here, of course, Caddyshack. Don't need to say much more about that. Getting down to the uh, nitty gritty here. Getting down to the getting down to the final one here. Next one here is The Siege, which is a really solid thriller. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind with Jim Carrey. The Presidio. Fire Down Below to add to my Steven Seagal collection. And the last DVD I got here is the 25th Anniversary Special Edition of Zombie, also known as Zombie 2. So that was all the DVDs, and now we're going to go on to the last thing. I promise this is the autograph that I got from the sports store. I was really happy to find this. Really, really, really happy to get this. And it says it right here. Uh, Lee Ilya, who was the third base coach for the Phillies back in 1980, who was part of the World Series team in 1980, so I think that's really cool. Really, really cool. So, there you guys have it. That was this huge update, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys next time. You guys take care.